In this lesson, we're going to take a look at some examples of exponential decay. Exponential decay is when you have something that decreases in quantity at a percentage each period. For example, the half-life of a radioactive element. Exponential decay is given by the formula that you see right here. Y equals A times 1 minus R to the T. A is the amount that you started with. R is the rate of decay as a decimal. And T is the amount of time that's passed. Let's take a look at two simple examples today to give you an idea of what this looks like. We have a new car. It costs $23,000. The value of the car decreases by 15% each year. Each year, the car is worth 15% less. We call that depreciation. We want to write an exponential model to represent the car's value after t years. We know it's exponential because it's decreasing at a rate that's given by a percent, 15%. We identify the variables. A is 23,000, R is 15, and T is unknown. We then plug these numbers into our formula, and we have Y equals 23,000 times 1 minus 0.15 to the T. Now I can make it a little nicer. I can do the 1 minus 0.15 that's inside the parentheses to end up with y equals 23,000 times 0.85 to the t. What does this mean? Well, you can use this equation to find the value of the car in any year that you want. How much is the car worth after 10 years? You plug a 10 in for t. How much is the car worth after 9 years? You plug 9 in for t. In part B, they want to know how much the car is worth after four years. In that case, we simply plug four in for T. Now, if we plug that into our calculator, we see that the car is worth about $12,006. In our second example, we invest $500 in the stock of a company. I suppose the first question we have is what exactly is stock? When you buy shares of stock, it's like you buy a piece of a company. For example, if you go out and buy shares of stock from Coca-Cola, you own a part of the Coca-Cola company. A very small part, but a part nonetheless. You purchase it at a current price with the hope that maybe down the road it'll be worth more money and someone will pay you more money for it. In our example here, that just didn't happen. In this case, the value of the stock went down. It went down about 2% each year. Because it went down by a percentage, we know that we have exponential decay. We want to write a function that represents the value of the stock after t years. First, identify the value of the variables, a, r, and t, and then write a function that represents the value after t years. That means your equation will have the letter t in it. Please use the last example as a guide. Pause the video here, and then come on back when you're finished. We found the value of A to be 500, that's what we started with. R, the rate of depreciation, was 0 0.02, that's 2%. We do not know the value of T, and so we plug in what we have into our equation, and we end up with Y equals 500 times 0.98 to the T power. Now they want to know what the value of the stock would be worth after six years, assuming that it continues to decline in value by 2% a year. In that case, we simply plug the six years in for T, and that tells us the value of our stock will be worth around 442.92. So here's what you need to know about exponential decay. When you have a something that's quantity or value decreases by a percentage each period, then you have exponential decay. The formula y equals a times 1 minus r to the t is a formula that you want to know how to use and you want to have memorized. That's everything you need to know about working with exponential decay.